Blavish, but yeah, let's get the show started on today's show. Bang. So honestly, Tillman, I would love him to join, but only for the right price. Okay. Wait, no is he being valued eighty mil from this window or from a summer window? Uh, Aslan, I don't have much time, so I'm just gonna have to cut it short. I don't know how much he's worth right now, but it's less than eighty. Definitely less than eighty. It's not that ridiculous. The Arthur situation. There's been an update, guys. There has been a big update on this Arthur situation. Arthur's agent is in London, okay? Everyone has reported on it. Arthur's agent, uh, Pastorio, was in London to meet with Arsenal's director, Edu, earlier today, as reported by Charles Watts, okay? Fabrizio, Repart uh, Fabrizio Romano has reported on it. So has DiMazio. Ar Ar Arthur ha is currently pushing for Arsenal's loan deal. He's trying to get it over the line. The rumor has it, that Arthur is very interested in joining Arsenal, but the only thing stopping this deal is Juve. Juve are asking for some sort of uh, longer-term deal or Arsenal to buy him on a permanent or have an obligation to buy or some sort of thing where they can try to get the player sold at the end of the day. And also, Juve might be interested in trying to find a replacement before they get uh, him. So at the moment, at the moment, it is now... Looks like at the moment, it now looks like Arthur Arthur Mello could be the midfield signing that Arsenal get in in this window. What do you What do you guys think? Are you Would you take him? Because yesterday the conversation was that the deal stalled, and today is that the conversation is now back on. So Arthur Mello is. We are currently in the driving seat to sign Arthur Mello. Is it a thumbs up for you guys or a thumbs down? Let me know in the comment section. What are you guys saying, Aslan? Bro, I don't want him. It's a thumbs down for me. I don't want a loan signing or a uh, another club's reject. So for me, it's a no. Six months, Azan. No yeah. guarantee in buying him. His style of play is similar well, well, to. Like, get, well, uh, why now, then? What well, happened to? Why well, now, them is injured apparently. Okay. Well, uh, again, uh, go and buy a midfielder. What's this loan stuff? We've 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 already loaned how many midfielders? Like, and 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 we're we're loaning them when when we're very light in that position. Like, even with the numbers that we had in midfield before the January window came about, and Afcon uh, came about, the quality, the lack of quality that we have in depth of that midfield area was already clear. Clear as day. Now, obviously, an international tournament has taken place. A couple of uh, signings have uh, been moved on, um, on loan. And you're telling me I'm going to be happy with a uh, loan signing. I don't care about all these uh, little clauses of whether it's an obligation or no option or option to buy. I don't care. I don't want another team scrapped. I can want. I get, Aslan, can I try to sell you on this, or, or or you don't want to be? No, you can't sell it to me, bro. I mean, you can try, but uh, I'm gonna be hard headed and say uh, a stern no. So okay, let me just say this. Let me let me just say this, Aslan. If we are able to get in a midfielder this this uh, January, okay, that helps us for until until the season's over, and come the summer, we have a clean. Uh, checkbook where we can sign whoever we want wouldn't that be better than rushing and buying somebody that you uh, buying somebody you're not 100% sure about and then having another deadwood player in your team so why don't you go and buy someone that you are sure about the, the players that you're sure about are not ready. January is known for being a difficult window to get deals done because players don't want to sell players during the middle of the season. Players don't want to get stuff sold or they don't want to get rid of players in the middle of the season. And if you were to sell a player right now, it would be difficult to sell a player right now in this January window where a lot of people don't have money. So if Bruno was to come in, Leon would need a replacement, and Bro, Leon would also I'm be not talking about million. selling players. 
like who can we sell uh, currently um, who's got of any, like apart from the players that we know who are the future uh, of this club, who can we sell that is a prized asset at the moment? No, no, no. I'm not work. talking about Arsenal selling. I'm saying other clubs selling players. They're not. They're reluctant to sell. Bro, their money players. talks, bro. Money talks. Money yeah, talks. And, and, you... and, and, and if anything, Egal, like like this time last year when we failed to make a single signing, when we would try to go and get that um, that junior fur pole, was it? He was. Um, um, is he at Wolves now? When bro, he was at Barcelona, that deal collapsed. Yeah. But then I was told, oh, you know, uh, we're doing all the prep work and all the homework and everything leading to the summer window, yeah? But then we also, yes, finally we got six signings over the line, yeah? And majority of those signings have looked very good. Fair play okay. to, maybe, fair maybe play to everyone in the club for that. But look at the way we went and signed them, Miguel. Look how we okay. took our sweet ass time. We're doing is the it, same thing in January, Egal. Is it realistic, Aslan, to expect a team to make seven signings in one year? What, uh, what in January or in the summer? No, January and summer combined. Is it realistic to expect a team? Bro, to the get summer seven is the summer. Signings? The summer's gone now. This is January window, Egal. No, but listen to why, what I'm saying. Why hasn't Why hasn't uh, Edu Vinay? Yeah, and whoever else is involved in getting in contact with players, agents, players, and the clubs that they're contracted to, why isn't the groundwork and everything done leading up to January? But we're 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 doing it all in January because to me it seems like this is what we've been uh, again. This is the same thing that I've seen in uh, previous other years. Okay, Why I, uh, didn't all the groundwork start come end of uh, October or uh, m uh, latest mid-November uh, or, say, beginning of December? So then come when the January window opens, we can start getting players in, bro. Okay, I know. So I we're know 19 days in. We haven't even signed one player. We've gone from a 27-man squad to 24. Let me let me just say this. Let me just say this to you. Forget about all of that. We signed six players in the summer. We are now going into a January window off the back of being the most expensive, having one of the most expensive summers we've had ever. If the club was to sign another two players and one of them are on loan, I would understand knowing the circumstances of how much money we spent in the summer and that we might have a plan going forward. I don't think it is realistic to expect the club to make two signings of permanent signing players in this January window for the yeah, for the is that, is that, let me let me bro, I don't that. care what uh, what you expect I me as a fan I demand it bro I you demand, demand it. you demand from time money? from time I'm hearing from flipping Edu Gaspar our so-called technical director giving an interview with the athletic saying key key quote of the interview we're gonna be making quality over Quantity signings. Where is the quality? Nineteen days in, into January, we've gotten rid of three players, two on loan, and one we've terminated, which I praised by the way, in the beginning of the stream. Yeah, but we've not made one addition yet. Aslan, we've sacrificed the flipping FA Cup. Yeah, we're in the semi-final second leg against Liverpool. Bro, if we don't go to the final and win this cup and finish fourth, I'm telling you, heads need to be rolling, bro. Heads need Aslan. to be rolling. Yeah, yeah. Aslan. Can I, can I just... it is not, it is not, uh, we are not in a bad situation. We are currently in advanced Yeah, talk. because we are, because we're in and around fourth. That's why. Stop thinking about today. Think about ahead, bro. No, think about the players that we're about to sign. We can get Arthur Mello on loan. No, he's not my no, first choice. Look, listen, he's not listen, any of our yo, first yo, choices. Yo, respectfully, respectfully, all of this, let's praise the club for making contact. Let's praise the club for offering this much money to the player. Let's praise the club. Bro, have we signed a player yet? 
No, we has have, the player, has the player we haven't, we haven't crossed the T's and dotted the I's? Has the player hold up the shirt or plastered on Arsenal.com? So what are we, we praising signed, the club for? We haven't signed a first-team player yet, no. Well, that's what I'm saying. No, no, but what is all this? Oh, I'm seeing a different thing to Arsenal. I'm seeing a whole different side to Arsenal. Did I say that, though? You're talking about other fans. No, 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 but, but the way you asked the question earlier, is it realistic that we can make these many signings from the summer and now in it's January? A question. Yeah, but again, we should, uh, uh, it should be realistic. If the club wants to go in the right direction, yeah, and actually be um, competitive in this new decade, they have to spend the money. Yo, he, uh, so let me, you're let me... spending 160 mil in the summer, but if you're not going to back that in January, and then oh, potentially what what, what we're going to see in the summer, what was the whole point of this 160 mil? Okay. Again, it's just it's just pulling wool over. I'm not going to go over the same thing over and over again. Let me just say this one thing: if we get him on loan, and in the summer we now have a fresh bank to get an actual player that we want to sign. What's better, that or signing a player now who we're not 100% sure about? Because we cannot sign the players we want. The players we want are not available. Well, that's what you're accepting. That's not what I'm accepting. Frankie De Jong is not available, yeah. okay? Bro, Rice I know Frankie De Jong's not available, Egal. Egal. Stop Egal. naming me uh, uh, world-class players, Egal. No, these are the type of players we should be going for in the summer. No, Egal, Egal. Guys, guys, let's, let's relax. Look. Guys, we need to... ...is coming in, and Arsenal are pushing for Vlahovic. I personally believe we will get a midfielder. When it comes to Vlahovic, that we're going to talk about right now. So let's move on from this and talk about Vlahovic, because that is the next topic, the last topic of the day. Dusan Vlahovic. What do we know about Dusan Vlahovic? A hundred and six million euro bid has been accepted why, by why, Arsenal. Why? For Florentino. Six mil. What's this about, bro? Okay. The way this deal works is his wages plus the bid plus the agent fees all together will cost 106 million euros. But there's a big obstacle in the way. The player has agreed to join Juventus. The player has reportedly agreed to join Juventus. Who has yes, said this, Egal? Who? There's, there's mixed reports. Very, very mixed reports. So the reports are... Let me tell you what it says. Florentina have accepted an 88 million pound bid for Dusan Vlahovic. That is cash plus Lucas Torreira. The striker has agreed to join Juventus. And Arsenal are reportedly had an 88 million pound bid accepted for the hitman Dusan Vlahovic. The 21 year old midfielder has agreed to join Juventus and, and is his contract is running out in October uh, in in Ju June of 2023 the player has agreed to join Juventus upon an early deal according to Italian outlet Calamatio. Uh, so of course Italian outlets when they're speaking about Italian news has it got it, the name of that journalist as well no it doesn't it just says the, yeah, of course the, it doesn't because it's so a lot of bollocks that's why so it's an Italian outlet stating that he's connected to Juventus. Now, today, reports, mixed reports came out about him potentially already agreeing a pre-agreement to join Juventus. And the other reports is that Arsenal have had a 60, uh, 106 million pound bid accepted. The way it works, 80 million of it is is the uh, is the 80 million pounds, 80 million euros is the deal. For the uh, for the for Florentina, twenty six million is the potential cash plus bonuses, and the remaining difference, obviously, is is the agent fees. So twenty six million of it is agent fees and potential wages and bonuses. Eight million of it, I mean eighty million of it, is the is the is the fee that is going to go to Florentina. Lucas Torreira has enjoyed his loan spell and he'll be part of the deal whether mentioned in in the deal or an external deal where Arsenal agrees to pay 15, uh, receives 15 million at, at, at an external deal. Either way, Lucas Torreira will become a Florentino player at the end of the year. Now, this this being said, the, now the situation with uh, Dusan Vlahovic has been, has been 
uh, has been very mixed. It's been going crazy. I don't know if it's going to happen anymore. I personally feel like Arsenal Football Club have done everything right. The player and his agent are doing their best to drive the price up. They are going to make us wait. But with the recent events where he was saying goodbye or raising his hands, hugging his teammates, posting Instagram posts of how much he loves his teammates, these are not the things that somebody would do if they were just apologizing for missing a penalty in a game where they won 4-0. So at this point, I do believe he will, he, will, he will seriously consider joining Arsenal. But will it happen? I'm 60% there that it will happen. What about you, Azan? Because at this point, I was originally 80. I'm now 60. Dusan Blahovic deal is very complicated. It looks like it might not happen. At times, the next day, it looks like it's happening. Every single day, we hear mixed reports. The Italian journalists are throwing Arsenal under the bus. The British journalists are saying it's going to happen. So both, te- both people have something to benefit and something to lose. They both are losing credibility in my books. And when we're talking about journalists not knowing what they're talking about, this is what I meant. Today, we hear a report from one journalist saying that the deal has been accepted. We hear another report from another journalist that everything is in the agent's hands. We hear another report that he wants to go to Juventus. We hear another report that the Arsenal t- deal is finished and he'll never join Arsenal. This morning I wake up, a bid has been accepted. It makes no sense what's going on. But this is the situation. Azan, Sohal, what's your take on it? 